really excited to have one of the best saxophonists in the world. He's coming to MIT because he knows of the talent of these students. I mean, the Festival Jazz Ensemble is just one of the best musical groups in Boston. There are still close to a million Puerto Ricans without electricity. My grandmother just received electricity like a week ago. It's been five months. With this concert, the Jazz Ensemble's initiative was to be able to collect all this money and donate it to the Puerto Rico Recovery Fund, which is a long-term vision for the island. There's still a lot of chaos unfortunately going on on the island. So uh, we're just trying to really create awareness. Anything you can do to help is greatly needed and greatly appreciated by the folks down there. I have a lot of friends from artists to uh, you know most small business owners who decided to stay there and do what they could to uh, build that country back up. So I wrote this piece for them, thinking about the resiliency and the courage a lot of these people in Puerto Rico, a lot of the people who are trying to help out the situation there. How do we create more resilient infrastructures, electrical grids, housing, water systems, try to find ways of decentralizing the whole thing so that if like one tower falls, some people would be able to like sustain their own microgrid, solar panels and stuff like that. So I think that's where MIT really comes in, right? Is to try to bring all the innovation that are in these labs to come to Puerto Rico, make a difference in people's lives. We're looking for the future to have a bit of like a setup externship where you could have students work on actual projects that could benefit the Puerto Rican community and society on the island. Brainstorming ideas and a bit of like consulting and designing. I hope that young people don't take this as a kind of a defeat, but more so as an opportunity to grow and be part of the Puerto Rico of tomorrow. If the young people give up, the rest is just going to collapse. We can't let our country die. Thank you. Thank you.